Hello, I'm Patrick, Dorothy on the camera. We're Toronto Master Gardeners. A lot of gardens have boxwoods, and currently there's a threat to boxwoods in the Toronto area. This video will explain something about that. The box tree moth is an invasive pest. It can cause severe damage to boxwood. It was first detected in Toronto in the fall of 2018. Eggs are laid on the underside of leaves and hatch within three days. The larvae grow as they feed on leaves, the shoots and the stems. And from a distance the plant will appear brown, sort of desiccated. In 2019, a collaborative monitoring program was conducted, including a citizen science program, to determine the extent of the infestation and gather information. We volunteered in the spring of 2020, and a team member came to inspect our boxwoods. I go through and um, slowly open up the plant material and so and when I did that here so the, webbing. The, the webbing is apparent and then I was able to pull the larva out of that it's a big here we have a box tree moth larva and right beside it there you can see the excrement or what we refer to as frass when it's dried, it will also be a green color. It could mean that um, the one that we found down below is a new introduction, probably from the end of last year. Mm. So if you want to film something else, um, this is box, boxwood leaf miner damage. Sometimes it will be in an S form pattern through the top of the leaf. So when we flip it over and open them up, there'll be orange orange worms inside. You can see one on my hand and then one still squirming on the leaf. So Abby, is there a best cultural practice in defense of this? For box tree moth, unfortunately, we don't have those answers yet. The pest is uh, so new to Ontario, first detected in 2018, that the work that University of Guelph, University of Toronto, um, government agencies and the uh, nursery industry are doing this year, hopefully our data and our collections will lead to some of those answers. This is some of the example of the box tree moth leaf damage. On these first ones, it chops off the leaf. So it's just sort of cut off on each of these. Moving on to this one, this is where it leaves a skeleton of the, the leaf and the shoot. Basically, it leaves the tough parts behind, like leaving behind the crusts on your bread. And the final one is uh, where it skeletons the leaf or window panes it so that uh, the leaf um, becomes a bit opaque because it's, it's eaten off um, one sort of layer of the leaf.